All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. And um, I've seen the thumbnail of this video. I'm going to get my engine from New York. But uh, on the way to New York, I made a little bit of a detour. And uh, if you guys don't know, I do like uh, history. And um, yeah, there we go. Stop by the uh, Lincoln Memorial. Just cause middle of the night, got a parking spot real close by. Like look down the way at the Washington Monument reflecting pool, which may or may not be frozen. I don't know. Cause uh, this Florida boy's cold right now. But uh, yeah, something just cool about history. So, uh, I thought that was an interesting start to this video. Let's uh, get back on the road and get to New York. All right, next morning, just outside of DC, grabbed a hotel after uh, seeing some of the monuments, driving around, drove around the White House and like, I said last night like I really like history stuff and uh, got to add some into this trip have to see if I can get up here again with my kids I came here years and years ago uh, years ago but kind of did the touristy thing and kind of want to do it again but uh, let's get on the road do a little time-lapse just driving I don't know what we're gonna get into in the mountains maybe see some snow which for this Florida boy it's funny because actually right now it's about the same temperature as it was when we left Gainesville yesterday. It was like in the upper 20s and like we're kind of bringing the warmer with us. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So if you live in New England, you're welcome. Uh huh? All right, on the road. So somewhere in Pennsylvania now, stopped at a uh, Sheets to get some diesel, and uh, it's a dollar sixty more than I paid for it down in Tennessee, dollar sixty more per gallon. So yeah, kind of stinks. But going to get my engine, and some of you guys have asked why I would drive up here to get my engine instead of having it delivered. Well, for one, kind of wanted a road trip, thought that'd be kind of cool, and. The, like the way my Christmas break works out with my daughters. Um, I had them for the first half of their Christmas break and then their mom gets them for their second half of the break. So I had the time and thought it'd be kind of a cool ending to the year as well as uh, get my engine and not have to worry about engine getting damaged and shipping. As you guys will see, it's got some very rare stuff in it and uh, just made more sense to me to come up here and take a trip and like stop by Washington and see some of the monuments and all that kind of fun stuff too. I'm gonna do some other stuff on the way home. I may stop and try to do some snowboarding. We'll see how the time uh, the time's going, but yeah, we'll see how all that works out. And I'm gonna go make sure my truck's filling up with fuel still and get back on the road.
right, there we are. All right, so I've made it to BTR Performance in New York, owned by Bill Travato. And for those of you that probably don't know, Bill used to race Oldsmobiles way back in the day. Made a really big name for himself in the Oldsmobile world. Had a very fast Oldsmobile Starfire. I'll try to find a picture of it and post it down here, but uh, pretty fast back in the day, small block nitrous deal. And he's since moved on to the LS world and runs NMCA in Extreme Street with a Camaro that's LS powered. So I think the engine is actually inside. I saw a Facebook post he shared this morning about an engine they had in the shop. Maybe it was his, I don't know. But the truck did pretty good. It's got salt spray all over it, but we'll get her detailed up when uh, when we get home. Like I texted him that I'm here, but he doesn't. I haven't poked my head in the shop yet. Got an engine dyno set up there. Let's uh, let me go in and make sure everybody's cool with being on camera, and then we'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, everybody. Well, here is my engine, and this is a small block Oldsmobile. It is 380 cubic inches, has a 3.4 stroke, and it is 4.185 on the bore. For those of you that know a little bit about engines, I'm going to spin the living daylights out of this thing. So you guys might have seen in Soccer Mom's latest video, we turned her 9200 RPM. No problems with that. That has a 3.625 stroke. This has a 3.4 stroke and is designed to spin the living daylights out of. So got some pretty trick T and D shaft rockers on this thing. Bill's done all kinds of engineering on springs and all kinds of cool stuff. But this is a using a NASCAR Oldsmobile block, which was that was a thing back in the 80s that Oldsmobile was a big thing with NASCAR. And like I said, Bill's huge in the Oldsmobile world. Got Rovic over here working on his fellow sick weaker. Yep. Yep. And then we got another Oldsmobile and another Oldsmobile and another Oldsmobile and another Oldsmobile and like just everywhere with a few, a few LS's scattered in here and there. But you can kind of see the BTR there. So Bill Travato racing. And uh, as you guys can kind of tell, I still have some more work to do to this thing. So we're gonna be working on an intake manifold for it that I'm gonna to have to do the dual fuel injector setup with. And with this being an Oldsmobile, and normally Oldsmobiles, the port is way down here, right above the deck. So these raise the port to get a lot better curve, curve into the chamber. And it's a basically custom one-off intake manifold that we're gonna to have to do for this thing. But that's what it is and I left my oil paint at home which shame on me but see we got aluminum rods it's got a billet crankshaft in it anything trick you want to tell me oh there's a, a regular oh, just head. to give you an idea yeah so there's standard Oldsmobile type stuff in the process of some porting work and then my very right. highly raised ports pretty cool yeah I'm excited so that's Bill. Guys, I showed you some of his stuff earlier. I'll show you. We'll put some videos of his Camaro in here, or maybe even the old. I'm gonna have to find a video of the old Starfire. Video? Like, yeah, see if I can put it in my video. Man, I probably got something somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm excited. This thing has been a long time coming, and it's not Bill's fault that it's been a long time coming. It's been my fault that it's been a long time coming. Kind of my fault. No, like, <laughs> not, everybody's fault. I wasn't in a huge rush because yeah. building a business and all the other stuff I had going on with my life. And I told Bill there was no rush on it. And as you guys can tell, he's, he's got lots of projects everywhere. Those would be an expert, right? This was a tricky build, that's for sure. Yeah, I, um, I don't make things easy, but this thing is top fuel hooped. It is dry decked, which it's everything that we know how to do. It's all the trick stuff to it. You probably do you have anything else that's dry decked? I could show them. They probably don't even know what dry decked is. Uh, let me think for a second here. Yeah, probably this. Yeah, yeah, I do. The actually. LS. So, normally on an engine, 
you know, the water flows through the head gasket. Well, in racing stuff, when, uh, like you guys saw us have problems with soccer mom along the way. So this head originally had water passages and you can actually see the weld, mm -hmm. see the different color. Yeah, I can see something right there. Yeah, okay, that was originally a hole to vent the gases when they cast it. So literally, we made plugs, pressed them in and welded around it. And then deck it back off And again. then deck it, so now that you can't, um, if the head lifts or you detonate or whatever, you're not putting water in the motor or worse yet, spitting it out the side and driving over it and doing 360s in the middle of the track. Yeah, I, we don't, I don't wanna crash. Yeah. Like I've got enough money in the engine and in the car and all that stuff, that I don't wanna tear anything up. But this is the way to do race engines really. And if like for my deal, like I'm gonna plumb water, which mine has, my cylinder heads have water ports here, but the block will get its own water and then the cylinder heads will get its own water. So a little bit of a plumbing nightmare, but we'll work it out and it'll be all right. It'll just look a little funny up under the hood, but it's race car stuff. And we're building a really fast Oldsmobile powered race car. Like I wonder, you know what the door car Oldsmobile record is? Cause that's kind of what I kind of had in mind. I know Russell's been six, on a door 680s? I don't think anybody's been faster than me with the star part. Okay. And you were what, 750? 785 was okay. the fastest it ever went. And that was what, a 400 and something inch? 400. 400 inch, okay. Nitrous, Oldsmobile with carburetor. 3,000 pounds. 2950, I think it was. That was NSCA, like way back in the day? Or uh, NMCA? That was NMCA. Okay. That was just before I stopped racing that thing. You guys can see some of Bill's stuff you were second in the championship this year yeah won it last year nope second again i have not won an nmca championship i've been oh. second four times sorry didn't <laughs> just mean to, can't do didn't it didn't mean to dig the knife in there on you <laughs> just just can't seem to get it done you had a good end of the year though right oh, like, it's been it was a great season killer I mean, end of the year yellow bullet race winning that that was a big oh yeah deal. yeah that was awesome you know everybody who's fast in the country shows up at that race yep you could probably do well at World Cup, but there's like weird... I'm not racing quarter mile, I'm done with that. Oh, uh, that's true too. Yeah. I I don't have any ambition to go 190 something anymore. I gotta break 200. I'm gonna like, that's one of my, I don't know if it'll be with my car, but I gotta break 200 and something. And you guys saw I went 184 with Soccer Mom kind of by accident, like keeping the pedal down when I probably shouldn't have, but I had to beat that diesel truck with, with, with Soccer Mom, so. But man, you got some cool stuff around here, Bill. Like billet based LS, which we can't say what that's out of because it's secret, <laughs> but it's out of something that's really fast. Yep. And um, see, it's got a dry sump pan on it over there. And like, how many runs has this thing got on it? We can at least show them that. Uh, it's got all, it, actually there's, those are the bearings that were in it when I first put this engine together three years ago. Okay. So and I'm probably still not going to replace them. Like. That's what bearings should look like if you don't like abuse the engine and you know detonate it a bunch. Why is it not? There we go. So as you guys can kind of see there, like, is this the bottom side too? That is the bottom. Yeah, that looks brand new. Like brand new, brand new. Yeah, that's how we want the Oldsmobile stuff to look. And same with the uppers. And I guess uppers in that you could say is the tuner can kill those, right? Yeah. But this thing's making, it was making well over 2,000 horse, actually well over 2,500 horsepower at the wheels. And it was really fast and it still looks that good. Yeah, and that's what we're after with the old Oldsmobile motor. So yeah. exciting stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get this thing loaded up and then I'm gonna jump back on the road and we're gonna go see Niagara Falls tonight, I think, so. I guess we better start getting this thing all wrapped up. All right, well there she is all strapped down. And now I got no excuses for why nothing's happening with my car. Well, I mean, I kind of still have some excuses as far as still gotta take care of customers projects, but this has been a long, long, long time coming. Like literally I've been assembling pieces and parts or buying parts and pieces for this engine now, I think for almost 10 years. And you know, between other life situations and building the business, moving the business, expanding the business, going through a divorce, all that stuff has finally gotten us to almost 2023, which it'll probably be 2023 by the time this video comes out. 
and uh, an engine for my Cutlass. That's good stuff. So I'm gonna hop in, we'll see what other trouble we can get into on the way home. All right, everybody. Well, uh, maybe you can kind of tell what's going on, but uh, I'm at a ski resort in Sugar Mountain, North Carolina. It's passing through. Been here when I was a kid. Ooh, that breeze is cold. Um, since I've been on a, uh, a snowboard, uh, last time I was on a snowboard, I think was before my oldest daughter was born. So that's gonna be at least 12 years ago, coming up on 13 years ago. Whew. Uh, I've made a couple trips down so far and uh, did pretty good, but got about an hour and a half in, two or three trips down the slopes. It's the last run of the night. I got on just before the lifts closed, but I'm gonna make a trip down. And uh, it's kind of weird because it's like 45 degrees right now. And I think that's rain or it's at least rain falling out of the trees. Uh, it's kind of a weird day. It was 60 earlier north of here. Actually, I think I saw 64 on the truck temperature as I was coming down. But uh, yeah, gonna see if I can make a run down this mountain, not lose the camera, not hurt myself. And then pack up uh, 2022. And this video won't be out until 2023, but hope everybody had a great new year. And uh, see if we can see if we can do this. Shoo. So I'm at Sugar Mountain, North Carolina. If uh, some of you may know where that's at. And I'm not gonna fly down just because I'm 42 and uh, I don't feel like hurting myself because if I were to fall and hurt myself, that'd be a really bad start to 2023. But it's actually kind of peaceful out here. Nobody, nobody on the slopes. Kind of foggy. I have to go somewhere where there's a little bit better snow because this stuff is ice. So one of the things for uh, this slow guy, to make sure I don't get in anybody's way, or at least try not to get in anybody's way behind me, but this is fun. I got it. Oh, that's <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get it all the way to the bottom, hopefully without falling. Yeah. And uh yeah. Hopefully not crash into all the people down there. Sweet. All right, everybody. Well, that'll wrap it up for this year. Appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. See you guys next time.